in this simple exercise that we are discussing at the moment, we were required to compute three things, the velocity, the pressure drop, the Reynolds number. We have calculated the velocity from the given data that is available to us, and now we are required, we will be trying to calculate the pressure drop in a certain segment of the artery and also the Reynolds number with, that pertains to the blood flow in the artery at this moment for the given data. From the Poisson's equations, the volume Q is equal to delta P times pi times R to power 4 over 8 eta into L. P is pressure, R is the radius, eta is the viscosity that is given to us, and L is certain length. That length is our choice which we can use or which is under consideration. In this case, the segment of the artery that is required to be under consideration is given as the length L equals to 0.1 meter. We are supposed to find out the drop in pressure in this much segment. So if at a certain point you can imagine that if at a certain point the blood pressure or pressure in the blood flow is P1 let us say, they want to know after 0.1 meter how much pressure will be there. So that is the question. And therefore from this quantity we want to find out the pressure difference, delta P. And delta P, if I try to calculate from here, will be equal to uh, Q over all this quantity I take on this side, I divide. And therefore it will be 8 eta into L into Q divided by these two terms, pi into R to the power 4. Substituting the values, we have delta P, that is the pressure difference, is equal to 8 into eta. The value of eta is given to us times L, that is equal to this 0.1 meter, times this quantity that is also given already. And into, of course, the value pi into r square, r to the power 4, sorry, and if r is this much, to the power 4. And when we compute this by using a simple calculator or even manually, we calculate that the pressure difference turns out to be 2.07 Pascal. And so, we have determined the pressure difference. And it follows that in 0.1 meter, that is 10 centimeter, the pressure drop will be under the, for the given data that has been given. To, remember, if the data is different, the pressure variation will be different. So for the given data, the pressure drop in this much length will be 2.7 Pascal. Similarly, we need to calculate uh, Reynolds number. Reynolds number is a dimensionless number that is named after the famous uh, mathematician, scientist, Sir Reynolds. And this is normally sometimes written as R A, another times it is written as R E as is written here, and it is also E and it is equal to the velocity times certain length divided by viscosity. This ratio, if I write down the dimensions of velocity, which is distance over time times length, 
the dimension of length divided by viscosity denoted here by nu then this number turns out to be a dimension number it's very important number that is considered that is considered in analysis and also determination of fluid flow conditions and also to explain various phenomena so we will be talking about later in detail because it has lot of again application and it is used at a large number of places so reynolds number is a famous number so remember this is just a ratio given by u times length divided by nu now this u is since it is velocity it can be a velocity in a axial or vertical or some direction or it can be velocity vector because its magnitude again will have the same dimension as the velocity then there is a the length if the geometry of the flow is rectangular we can take any length length or the breadth and still they are the length breadth is also a kind of length and it will have the same dimensions and then viscosity of course is the viscosity of the fluid that is flowing and in this question this is blood now we are given the values here the velocity we have calculated already a little earlier so we know the velocity we know the length or we can use it as length as two times the radius of the artery so remember i mentioned you that this can be any length if this is the circular cross section of the artery that is under consideration then this will be the radius of that cylindrical artery that we are considering and if r is its radius then the l here can be taken as 2r twice the r will be equal to the diameter as we know and that is also given to us so to calculate the reynolds number all we have to do is to find out this ratio see the implication of this ratio if velocity is very high and viscosity is low if this number is too large this number is small the resultant ratio will be much much bigger than 1 and in that case we consider that the viscosity is rather insignificant as compared to the velocity profile but if this ratio is less than 1 is small and viscosity is playing an important role then in that case the reynolds number is a smaller quantity and the ratio is sometime less than 1 and in that case the fluid is considered to be uh, viscous and it means that viscosity is playing a dominant role in the flow conditions and uh, therefore so these are the significant if it is greater much greater than 1 what is what do we conclude if it is much smaller than 1 what do we conclude and these are the important thing that we notice from them and then we interpret it and from here r is equal to the reynolds number is equal to the value when we substitute it in this equation in this ratio it turns out to be that it is 81 as you can see that 81 is significantly greater than 1 and is not as small as one can think and therefore the for the moment the viscosity is not playing too much role the velocity is sufficiently high the second part the discussion the velocity profile now since the blood velocity is zero on the sides of the artery so if these are the arteries and when the blood is flowing 
So any blood that is sticking to the to the walls of the artery because of the viscous conditions, the there will the velocity at that point will be zero. But as it moves along, the velocity will tend to increase as it moves away from the boundary and similarly from this side. So therefore, the shape will look like something like this. That is, it will be parabolic in shape. As it moves away from the boundary, the viscous effects will start to diminish and here almost no viscous effect. But in between there are such a flow, then it means that it becomes uh, laminar. When there is viscosity, then there is internal friction. Internal friction, viscosity actually happens because of internal friction and that implies energy and when energy is dissipated, then heat is generated because of the friction. We can use that just by rubbing the hand and we will see heat is generated. And since that dissipation of energy is there, therefore that is why the pressure drop is there in the artery. If Reynolds number is a small, laminar flow, if it is less than 2000, we say that it's a laminar flow. I mentioned you two other conditions that if it is much greater than 1, but less than 2000, then viscosity is insignificant. If it is less than 1, viscosity is significant. But in this case, the situation is that it's 81. 81 is less than 2000. If the Reynolds number is greater than 2000, then we call it a turbulent flow. It's no more laminar. And of course, they asked us to draw a profile. So if we try to draw a proper profile, then here we have written those things also. The flow of a viscous Newtonian fluid through a pipe, a velocity profile. It can be pipe or in the same way, a tree or something which is circular having the same shop, say same shape. Then you can see that where the fluid is touching the wall, then due to viscosity, there is no motion. So velocity is zero here. But as the fluid moves away from the boundary, the velocity picks up. Slowly it picks up and takes a maximum value here. And then if you draw, if you look at this shape, this looks like a parabola or students of mathematics, they are familiar that this shape is called parabolic. So therefore, this velocity profile that we have considered in this problem is parabolic velocity profile.